Now, the European Union has pushed for gradual reopening of internal borders which are shut due to the coronavirus pandemic. The Commission has expressed that it was not too late to salvage the summer season for tourism and has also recommended phased approach to reopening borders. In Europe, the tourism sector counts for about 10% of the whole bloc's economy. But with the inevitable lockdown, the sector has suffered unimaginable losses. Now, EU has urged member nations to adopt unrestricted free movement once again and has envisaged a framework to revive travel and tourism business across the continent. People need, of course, to be able to travel uh, between European countries. So we are giving guidance on how to gradually reopen transport links without risking the health of travellers or transport workers. Third, travellers and workers, they need to know that the places that tourism visits, that they are safe. Hotels, restaurants, beaches, other uh, tourist sites, they need to be run in a way that minimises the risk of passing on the coronavirus. And so countries like Italy, Spain and France, which are battered by coronavirus pandemic, are also some of the major tourist destinations in Europe. The governments of these three countries are already strategizing an exit plan for lockdown and likely to restart operations soon. Austria and Germany plan to fully reopen their borders and Switzerland, with an exception of Italy, will start free travel on June 15th. Authorities in Spain are planning to keep the country's borders shut until July. In Germany, Chancellor Angela Merkel said that the aim was to eliminate border controls from June 15th across the Schengen area. However, experts have warned about a possible second wave of infections. Of course, we are the guardians of uh, the treaty and uh, we are looking at um, uh, how member states are implementing legislation. And if uh, this um, situation of infringing uh, the European law will uh, uh, emerge in various member states, of course, we are determined to take steps, but this will be, I would say, uh, a different letter, a letter of infringement, a different letter than the one I'm going to send to Commissioner Reinders uh, tomorrow. Most EU member nations have imposed emergency border control rules and have adopted strict social distancing measures. More than six million people are currently jobless and the tourism sector is at the brink of collapse. As of now, the deadly virus has infected more than 1.6 million and killed over 157,000 in Europe alone.